In a recent excursion through the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport, a mundane pit stop at McDonald's unfolded into a sobering reflection on the evolving landscape of labor dynamics. What once might have been a friendly interaction with a cashier has now metamorphosed into a transaction facilitated by self-serve kiosks, emblematic of a broader trend catalyzed by government-mandated wage hikes. The prevailing sentiment among conservative economists, such as Brian Westbury of First Trust Advisors, is one of concern over the burgeoning trend of artificially inflated wages. Minneapolis, for instance, has taken the bold step of imposing a minimum wage of $15.57 per hour, a move that is expected to ripple across various sectors, including transportation. Indeed, the impending departure of Uber and Lyft from the cityscape underscores the sobering reality that while noble in intent, such measures may inadvertently sacrifice jobs on the altar of wage equity. California, never one to shy away from progressive experimentation, has followed suit with a law mandating a staggering $20 per hour minimum wage for fast food workers at large chains. The repercussions have been swift and severe, with businesses bracing themselves for the economic aftershocks. Even Governor Gavin Newsom, the architect of this ambitious policy, found himself entangled in controversy when attempts to carve out exemptions for favored establishments were met with public outcry. But perhaps the most audacious proposal on the horizon emanates from none other than Senator Bernie Sanders, whose advocacy for a 32-hour workweek with maintained compensation has ignited fervent debate. While superficially appealing, Critics argue that such a measure would inevitably precipitate a cascade of logistical challenges for businesses already grappling with the fallout from escalating labor costs. Amidst this fervent discourse, a common refrain emerges from conservative quarters, the sanctity of free market principles and the perils of government overreach. The narrative posits that unfettered intervention in the private sector serves as a double-edged sword, ostensibly aimed at bolstering worker welfare but ultimately exacting a toll on economic viability. In this ideological tug-of-war, the stakes are high, and the ramifications, profound. As policymakers and pundits engage in a spirited dialogue over the contours of labor reform, one thing remains abundantly clear. The quest for equilibrium between equitable wages and sustainable employment is an enduring saga fraught with complexity, where the only certainty is the inexorable march of time, 